find themselves still fighting the floodwaters left by the weekend storm. It's the worst some areas of Monroe County have seen since the 1970s. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson waded through the mess today in Frenchtown Township. Here on Stony Point Peninsula in Frenchtown Township, there's still a number of people that haven't returned home because as of this morning, their homes were still underwater along with their cars. Thankfully, they brought in some extra help to help those floodwaters recede. Thanks to the at least four water pumps brought in late this morning, I was able to meet one of Stony Point's longtime residents. This is nothing now. They've been pumping all, all morning here. Charlotte Janowski has been trapped since Sunday morning when her house became an island. Uh, about two hours ago, a little bit of grass popped up and now more. You can see more. We've not seen the Red Cross. You're the first person that showed up at my door. I'm probably the first person who could get here and I waded through water. For two full days, no one got in and Charlotte Janowski couldn't get out. The fire department would come and get you if you called them. They'll take you out, but they won't bring you back. <laughs> and you don't really want to leave because you're afraid looters in canoes could just come in and take what they wanted. Many of her neighbors took that risk, evacuating as rising waters carried trash bins, drowned cars, trucks, vans, threatening to reach the main floor of even elevated waterfront homes. See where this trash is on this step? That's how high the water was. That's what brought all this crap up on my step. So it's a mess. <laughs> it's just a mess. Adding insult to injury, Mother Nature just keeps piling on. Oh, isn't this lovely? <laughs> the no, water's no. receding, but the snow is <laughs> dumping. In Monroe County, still a lot of cleanup and damage repair ahead. Well, we're hoping that to see these pumps continue to work. If the water continues to recede, then Charlotte maybe can make it to the grocery store and maybe get more visitors soon. In Stony Point, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Well, it's not the end.